So, hello YouTube. I just got this package. Inside this package, there is a custom loop water cool um, from AliExpress. Yeah, I know most people just buy from Amazon, usually the pretty nice things such as the Corsair uh, custom loops or Alpha Cool, uh, which is from Germany. Uh, and I wanted to have a go at the water cooling, uh, specifically for a GPU water cool, because I already have an AO uh, from NCXT, uh, which is pretty cool. And I don't want uh, to actually have to go through all the hassle to get a custom water loop. So I decided that I want to water cool my, my GPU, which is a AMD uh, 7900 XT from Sapphire Pools, which is a pretty good card. Uh, however, I decided that I, I want to try it out because the car idles at about 40 degrees, 50 degrees with the dual monitor set up. And uh, whenever I game or do anything, the car just spikes to 70 degrees. <clears throat> I know it's the, the regular temperature of the car, but I decided I, I really want to try it out to, to go into water cooling because, yeah. <laughs> it's my first time I actually gonna have to try this one. Uh, I have never worked with a GPU, never. Um, the most uh, experience I have is with just the, with the regular AOs for for CPUs, which are pretty good. And uh, to be fair, it's pretty expensive to go with Corsair stuff or Alpha Cool. Uh, and to build an entire custom loop is quite difficult sometimes. And I don't really have the time, so I decided to to maybe try something like an AO uh, except for a for a GPU so well <laughs> let's see what happens so let's unbox this thing <clears throat> in this case I ordered from Aliexpress uh, one of the custom loops it's called uh, Bixby Bixi Bixi how do you pronounce this <clears throat> let's see ah. no thank you so, there it goes. Bikes, or bikes. Okay, what do we have here? We have mm, these clay hoses, metal hoses. Two of them, okay. I'm pretty amazed that uh, these things, okay, so, all right, scratch and check. All right. Two of those hoses, some accessories. I mean, for for AliExpress, this looks pretty nice. This is a fitting, an all metal fitting. Looks pretty cool. Um, another fitting. Most of the products that you find on Aliexpress are just cheap Chinese produce. Uh, you know it, I know it, everybody knows it. But it's pretty cool, I mean, the quality. Oh, what is this? More formula number Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Custom wiring. Nice. Yeah, because I actually ordered a little more than that, and the guy that sells the work cooling system actually decided to toss me a free buy which is pretty cool <laughs> red and black <clears throat> the packaging came from DHL uh, so it, it arrived pretty quickly about in six days it took them eight days to make the order and quality control according to them and then just uh, give a, all the time for 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 the package to arrive uh, I had to pay taxes extra, but that's fine. Oh, what is this? Grandson. Yeah, this is one of the things that came. OK, 
okay this is pretty nice i think this is the case pants i it comes with the order i actually they come with two but i ordered four because i want to do a push pull configuration now this is intriguing because uh, <clears throat> these ones this these fans say uh, that they can run at uh, about 3000 rpm and at full speed let's see it's kind of open Oh, what the... Well, well, this is this is nice. <laughs> this is actually very nice. The presentation is pretty cool, and it's heavy. I mean, yeah, this quality. This this thing screams quality. Oh, this is a PWM splitter. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, extremely nice. Okay, this regular screws, <clears throat> and this is not a sticker. This is extremely nice. It's it's pretty heavy. It reminds me of the Nidec the Ten Gentle Typhoon. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty good stuff. It really looks nice. Um, let's see, I got a Gentle Typhoon from XPG because Gentle Typhoons stopped being produced quite a few number of years ago. I, I just want to see. same yeah that's mm. pretty nice in fact this yeah the fan this this one is wider this one is smaller but they really spin nicely all right this is pretty nice I don't get it. Why does the Western markets don't don't have this kind of stuff? I mean, if this thing can spin as silently as a as a gentle typhoon at three thousand RPM, which the gentle typhoon reaches about two thousand one hundred and fifty RPM, this thing will be a winner, <clears throat> especially for <clears throat> for a radiator fan. All right. I am very surprised. I'm not gonna lie. Presentation is top quality. Sure, it's Chinese. We still have to see how it performs. We'll see that in a bit. Oh, <clears throat> this is a nice presentation card. Grandson quality certificate detect to. <clears throat> what does it say? Each grandson product is meticulously crafted and truly tested to deliver quality you expect for, for a premium. <laughs> we hope you enjoy your purchase. All right. Well, English, I guess. But still, very nice. <clears throat> so these are the other fans, which I'm not going to open right now because both will be more of the same. One thing to notice is that once you purchase this thing, they don't come with uh, with water. You have to purchase your coolant and one of these bottles, a gripper, because you need to fill it up. In this case, uh, it's always recommended that you flush the entire system before you prime it up. And for that, I just got a Corsair Hydro Series XL8. It's just a clear one. One liter should be more than enough. <laughs> Not gonna chip out on on water, I guess. So here's the water block. Oh, what's what's this? Oh, okay. Is this? Yeah, I think this is for the fittings. This should be for the fittings, I guess. All right. So here's the water block. <clears throat> High quality water cooling fittings. Bring colorful LED affection. Affection is installation. All right. 
One thing to notice is that this thing has no manual. Once you purchase it, you can look at the page where you purchase it and there's instructions. There's like two pages of instructions only. <laughs> so you're pretty much on your own. You have to figure out how to mount everything. Uh, the instruction manual is archaic at best. So you have to be very, very careful in how you mount these things. It's pretty heavy. Six kilograms with all the packages. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Quality seals. Let's see. Let's ah. open it up. Warble. Ah. Okay. What's this? Mm, do it yourself. Ah. Sure, I will do it myself. Um, okay. Ah. Well, if I am going to mount this, I am not going to use this thermal paste. I have a problem, and probably so do you. Whenever you get a, a free thermal paste, you well, I must be wondering what kind of quality does it have? Is it good? What's the thermal conductivity of this thing? No, I'm not gonna use this one. I mean, so far looks good, but I think they are gonna chip out on the on the thermal paste. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use a thermal thermal right TFX. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use that one. Oh, yeah. Or I can use an Arctic MX4. Nah, TFX will be fine. Uh, I could use a thermal Grizzly too, but. The Cryon Extreme. Now I'm just gonna use the TFX. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Washers, screws. No manual yet. This. Oh, I think this is the RGB controller. <clears throat> because this block comes with RGB. If that's your thing. Quality. Yeah, I guess they are gonna have to chip out on some things. Ah. And you have these blocks, which are metal, and another Allen key. Now, let's see. Okay. This looks nice. This is the backplate. Thermal pads, which I well, they are cut out properly. Um, in any case, I, I could always use uh, this thermal grizzly minus paths, which I have to check for the graduation. The yeah, I have to make sure they are the same otherwise it will not fit properly and i might cause some overheating on the vram <clears throat> so this is the clock oh okay okay yeah they, it's not open it's just uh, yeah for quality reasons all right i'm not gonna open it yet okay. This is heavy. This is very heavy and this looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see, just a moment. I'm gonna try to open it a bit. Let's clean up this mess. Uh, I'll do it in a moment. Alright. Oh. Okay. This is some nice quality stuff. It's metal. Looks pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> goes here Pretty amazing all right yeah all right 
fantastic. I am surprised that it really looks like good quality. And there's nothing here. <clears throat> Let's see, what, what else we have in store? I give the backlight, which is pretty good, it's heavy. <clears throat> this has to be a really Now, when you buy this thing, they come with several sizes. Okay, what's this? Each grandson? Uh -huh. Form a premium. All right. Thank you, grandson. Form a premium. I will form a premium, indeed. When you buy this, uh, they offer you several sizes of the radiators. This is a two, four, 240. But you have to take into account that the pumps, which should be these ones, looks pretty good. The pumps also take some extra space. So in actuality, you need that's like a 240, uh, like a 310 millimeters to fit on your, on, your, <clears throat> on your case. So if you purchase something like a 360, it's going to be actually like a 390 or something like that. So very few... Uh, myth tower cases should fit in there, so you have to be careful with that. This is a Molex. Oh, okay. This is surely for controlling, I guess, the the fans and the pumps. Very well to find a Molex too in there. You can use nibbit. More fittings. No, it's not fittings, just plugs. And more plugs. What do we have here? Oh, all right. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Screws. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. Well, this is the pump. It's pretty heavy. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. Um, when I ordered this, it was a full Cooper one. You can see some yellowing there. It should be Cooper. <clears throat> okay, that's quite nice. So you have to check on the instructions and how to connect them. According to the archaic instructions I got, you have to connect the the pumps, the the, the pump to the <clears throat> to the hoses on these two ones. You have to plug these and the ones in back here. Um, there is also a module that you can purchase uh, and uh, actually control the pump with a remote control. But I decided just to go with the basics right now because it's my first time doing this. Don't want to mess it up. I think I'm gonna mess it up considering how expensive the the cars are right now. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to try. If you don't try, you will never know. Alright. That's it for the unboxing. There's I guess nothing else. Uh, I'll make another video uh, once I have assembled this and all the caveats I found and then we'll have some testing. Alright. Thank you for watching. See you.